Coconuts TV. Samusen Pier is a small fishing port just outside of depraved Pattaya, Thailand. When you get there, the stench of thousands of fish, mollusks, and crustaceans sitting out in the heat makes you want to jump on the boat and leave right away. We were there to catch a boat that would take us to one of Thailand's most infamous dive sites, the SS Sudadeep, also known as the Hardy. The ship was built in 1918 and named after the daughter of King Rama V, Princess Sudadeep. It spent two decades as a maritime vessel and during the early days of World War II, the ship was appropriated by the Thai Navy. The Japanese Imperial Army later used it to transport fuel and supplies, making it a target for the Allied forces. On June 21, 1945, a squadron of British B-24 Liberator bombers attacked and sunk the SS Sudadeep in the Samusun Bay, where it has been resting for nearly 70 years. When we arrived at the dive site, we found that the current was substantially stronger than predicted, but we were determined to explore this wreck. We dove in and were towed to the shot line, a steel cable anchored to the bottom used to descend. The descent is the most challenging part of the entire dive. If you lose your grip, you'll be swept out to sea uncontrollably. After 26 meters of battering currents, we managed to reach the bottom, but the current had pulled us too far away from the ship. Almost out of air, we ascended, disappointed that we had failed miserably. David, What makes this dive particularly challenging is the placement of the wreck. The dive site is situated between two small islands, creating a channel of constant tidal current. Fighting the current during descent burns through oxygen quickly, decreasing bottom time. Inside the ship, divers are trapped in a contained environment. There is no quick way out in an emergency. After our first failed attempt, we were even more determined to make it inside the hardy. We calculated the proper drift, geared up, and jumped back in. The second time down, we managed to penetrate the wreck. On the surface, it all looks the same, but 30 meters down, and it's an entirely different world. The wreck is teeming with sea life, and its cavernous rooms are trapped in time. It's peaceful, but eerie. It's rumored that in due time, the currents will erode the entire wreck. We were surprised by a hole in the hull, where a stream of water was blasting through. It ripped the GoPro off my head and forced me out of the wreck. Now my best footage is somewhere on the bottom of the Gulf of Thailand. After we were done exploring, we began our ascent. I noticed a fellow diver fiddling with the shot line while acting disoriented and turning a shade of blue, a possible sign of narcosis, a state of confusion during deep dives. Gripping the shot line and battling the current as I ascended to the surface, I finally understood why wreck divers joke about the name Hardy. With dangerous currents, the dive is hard, and at 30 meters, it's certainly deep. As we got down there, the ship kind of shielded us from the current. We penetrated the wreck, went inside, had a look around. Um, you can kind of see where there's parts of it have eroded away and lights coming in and kind of swim in and take a look around in the wreck. Really, really 
challenging dives. Glad it's over. <laughs>